Hey everyone, it's Mary Abbott with Great Expectations Realty and I'm doing what a lot of moms do mid-afternoon which is sit in the car line waiting to get my daughter from school. So I thought I'd make a quick video of something I know a lot about which is permitting. I used to be a permit technician prior to becoming a real estate agent which has really helped me in my job be able to search permits and you know roofs, electrical, ACs, it's all things we have to know as a real estate agent to know if you buy this house, how much life do you have left on it before you're gonna have a big chunk of money come out? Now, a lot of people might not know what a building permit is, which is basically, it's like an approval to do a remodeling project from your home. You can pull it as an owner permit, you know, if you have the right licensing to do with the work, or your contractor can pull it for you. And what a building permit is, is it's gonna be the basically okay from your local building department saying, this work is allowed, it meets zoning, it meets the Florida building code, what else, the regulations. It's basically, if you get your permit, you're good to go. If you're doing a remodeling project that does not meet the Florida building code, your permit is gonna get kicked out and you're gonna have to redo it. Happens a lot, no big deal. Um, a lot of things require a permit. Some of the main things that you would think about would be an AC, roof, electrical, plumbing, even if it's minor electrical, like adding a ceiling fan to a room, if the wires were there, you can do it. But if you have to add wiring, that requires a building permit. Some things require a permit that a lot of people don't know about. If you change out a window in your home, the an exterior door, your front door or back door, a security system. There's a lot of things that are supposed to have a building department, a building permit, but people don't get one. Um, if it's something really major, like a roof or AC, when you go to sell that house, you're not going to get clear title because the title company or the agent, someone's oh. going to buy. I have a new roof on this home. I got it done three years ago. Well, I checked the county and I don't see a permit for it. So big red flag for anyone who is looking to do any remodeling projects, get your building permits. They're not that expensive. Do your inspections, have a final CO completion on it so that you're good to go in the future. If you think you're going to do the route, I'm not going to get a permit or I don't want to pay for it. I don't think I need one. Bad move. Because if you get caught, I mean, Marion County, if you get caught not having a permit, it's an automatic $500 fine. They put a cloud on your title. And obviously we know you have to have clear title to sell your home. So for example, I know of a seller in the county that just got popped with a re-roof without a permit. Well, I don't think their roof was done correctly and not up to code. So now the code enforcement found out they're gonna have to pay a $500 fine have it re-roofed, which you know could mean taking it all off and starting over and doing it the proper way. This seller is freaking out because they just paid to have a roof. The person who did it wasn't licensed, wasn't a roofer, didn't do it the correct way, and now it could be a big, costly mistake for them. So pull your permit. If you have any questions, call your local you know, building department, ask what's to code, give them a call or look online. I know my building department had all the information available to you online. If you still don't know, ask your real estate agent and they will find that information for you. If you have any questions, give me a call 352-223-2486, um, local real estate agent in Ocala, Florida. Have a good one. Bye.